The Boston Red Sox are currently paying for the most expensive case of bipolar disorder I have ever seen in my life. I'm John Lackey. I'm John Lackey. Last night, he was total suck. And thanks to him, Grandpa Tim Wakefield had to come out of the bullpen on his 44th birthday. The last Red Sox to play at the age of 44, Carl Yastrzemski. Also last night, every single one of the position players had to play except for Darnell McDonald. Even Jed Lowry, who really hadn't played a lot of first before. In fact, it played so little, Kevin Euclid was screaming to him from the dugout. What advice he was giving him, I really don't know. Hey Jed! Yeah? When the ball comes to you! Yeah? Catch it! Oh, okay. Normally, I don't like to question professional athletes' injuries. It's kind of like making fun of a friend when you see him and he's wearing a suit. You're like, hey, what's with the suit? Did you just come from an interview? No, I just came from a funeral. Thanks for asking. Shit. But at this point, Jacoby Ellsbury has really got to rejoin the big club. In fact, Mike Cameron is now down. It's not like we exactly have a plethora of players in the outfield. Cafe, what is a plethora? So I don't really know what's wrong with Jacoby, but it's time to get out of Pawtucket and get back up to the big club. Now! And finally, people up in Canada say we have no idea how to do hockey. Well, these guys, these hosers, have no idea how to do baseball. Up in St. Albert, there's a youth baseball organization that had a wet field, and they wanted to play the game, so what did they do? No, they didn't use a drying agent like they would here in America. These guys put gasoline and diesel fuel on the field and lit it on fire with a match. Now, I don't know what happens when you burn stuff in Canada, but in America, it makes a big giant fire. And finally, it would appear that law enforcement in Sweden has a bit more flair to it than it does here in the United States.